This segment of the Pasture Soil Health Project video series will introduce the work of Russ Wilson, owner of the Wilson Land and Cattle Company in Forest County, Pennsylvania. Russ and his family operate a multi-species livestock operation using 130 fenced acres to graze 100 registered Black Angus, a small herd of American Kobe beef, chicken and guinea fowl, 70 Dorset cross sheep, 15 Savannah Spanish cross goats, six sows, and approximately 30 feeder pigs. In 2015, Russ plans to also graze approximately 80 hogs. Our first year here, we planted oats and barley to get forage for our cattle. Um, off the 129 acres, we were able to make 200 round bales. The soil was badly beat up. Um, it was come out of crop farmers and it sat fallow. Some of it sat fallow with corn stalks on it for five to six years. Uh, we had soils down in the pH range of 4.2. We couldn't grow oats barley. Um, we had agronomists in looking for residues of sprays. Um, we have probably in the last five to six years we've put approximately 800 tons of lime on the farm. Um, and now it's actually becoming more productive in, in putting the cattle in the ro intensive rotationally grazing and the other livestock, it, it, it's getting better. Is if I see a, a pasture thinning out, um, my theory is if you have bare ground, you're having soil erosion, and you're losing the nutrients out of your soil, and I believe that there needs to be a seed there a, holding that, that soil stable and if there's nothing growing there, naturally the livestock can't feed off of it. I mean, the most important thing for me is the grass and, and the grass health, um, because those are our free solar panels, and that's what's putting, is transforming protein that humans can use. The pasture is comprised of approximately 40 to 50 species of perennial grass and legumes, including grazing alfalfa, tall fescue, duo festolium, white clover, and canary grass. In the next two to three years, Russ's goal is to have everything back into permanent pasture and to produce a feeder calf for 20 cents a pound. Russ is also planning to begin grazing several species of bamboo, including bisset and canebrake. Basically, bamboo stalks well through the winter. Uh, the protein content in bamboo is approximately 24%. Um, and it, it winter stockpiles excellent. And for me, it's all about keeping them out of the barn just to reduce inputs. At some point, if it works well enough, there may be entire fields of it. Which it's just kind of an experimental process. I feel that we're successful because we're actually making a living. I, I don't know how else to put that. You know, the bills are paid, the kids are clothed, there's food on the table. We're happy. That's all that matters. We will meet with Russ again soon to see how he is progressing toward his goals. Please visit the Capital RCND website to learn more about the Pasture Soil Health Project and to discover all that is taking place at participating farms. Thank you for watching.